Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're continuing going over some different setup tutorials for your Active Directory domain services. In this part, we're gonna be showing you guys how to set up folder permissions. If you wanna see all the other parts, you can find those in the description box below. Before we get started, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are on Windows Server 2022 on the desktop here, and I'm just gonna start by pulling up my file explorer. I'll click over to this PC and we're gonna enter our recently mapped network drive. Again, if you wanna see how to do this part, just check the links in the description. So I'll double click this. And basically I have these two different departments here and I'm pretending that I don't want the marketing department to be able to go and see what's happening in the operations department. Uh, you know, we wanna create some security. We don't want uh, everyone just being able to see everything. So as IT professionals, this is our job. We're gonna show you guys just how to do that. In order to make this how we want it, we'll start in the marketing folder here. I'll right click on it and hit properties. We're gonna click one over into security. And we can see here we have our marketing security group and our operations security group. So we may not want the operations uh, group to actually be able to see this. And so we're just gonna remove them from this group in this folder. And in order to do that, We'll select operations. This is the department we want to remove access. We'll click advanced. Okay, and then again, we're gonna select operations and we're gonna select here, disable inheritance. And then we want the first option, can convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object. That basically just allows us to remove this. So click again and I'll just click remove. And I've just removed the operations security group from the marketing uh, department folder. So I'll just hit apply and okay. Again, we can double check over here in that security tab. Administrators and marketing is all we want to see here. And we're good with that. You can also see the permissions. If I click back to the marketing department, we can see the permissions specific to that. And this is also good. We have read and execute list folder contents read. Now I'm gonna repeat the process in opposite order for the operations folder. So again, properties, security. We want the marketing off of here. So we'll select that, we'll click advanced. We'll click marketing again. We'll click remove. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Disable inheritance and select the first option and then click remove. We're gonna hit apply and then okay. Good, and then again, we can verify the permissions of our operations department. Uh, they can't download, they can't change anything, so we're good here, we'll press okay. And then we're gonna go a step further with this. I'm gonna go into my operations department here and right clicking on, we'll start with the virtual assistant, I'll right click and go to properties and security. And if you notice, we have a virtual assistant folder here but both the ops manager and the virtual assistant are a part of the operations uh, security group. And I don't want that in this case. So I'm gonna repeat the steps to actually remove the security group in this case. So, so we'll click down to advanced. We'll click operations, disable inheritance and remove, apply and then okay. And then back in here, I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna add a single member. So we can enter the object names. Uh, we showed you guys this in the last part, but if you're not familiar, John, he is our virtual assistant, J-O-N. I can check the name here and it's gonna search for John in the active directory. And there he is and cool. So now John is basically assigned to his own folder as he is the current team member filling this role here. So I'll press okay. And so I'll go ahead and hit apply and then I'll hit okay. Again, we'll hit okay here. And then I'm gonna repeat this uh, process here for the folder above. Just to show you guys again, right click, properties, security, advanced, and then operations, disable inheritance, convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions. Lastly, remove, apply, and okay. 
Sorry if I'm moving through this a little bit fast. I just didn't want to take too long since we've shown this several times now. Uh, and then again, we'll go back to edit here in the security tab, add, and our operations manager is Calvin. So we'll check the names. There we have Calvin, perfect. Press okay. Calvin's in here, we'll press apply and okay. Now I realized I forgot something here. I'm gonna go back into properties on the operations manager. I actually wanna give this person more control. So here I'm gonna click on edit. We can change the permissions and I'm gonna give Calvin full control. And I'll hit apply and then I'll hit okay. So the ops manager has full control of the uh, ops manager destination here on the network drive. And we'll press okay. And now at this point, we have everything set up for this mapped network drive. Now pretty much the only thing left to do uh, in this setup here is to assign the home folder to the users. So we're gonna enter our server manager once again, go back to tools, and then we'll go to active directory users and computers. And I'll minimize this and full screen this so you guys can see a little better. And again, we have John, Kenzie, and Calvin. So we'll start with John here our virtual assistant right click and hit properties and then we're going to click actually into profile and then i actually just want to add the home folder to the user and then they're only going to have access to what we have just previously configured so we'll press connect to the drive we created is letter p and then in our clipboard we have file path copied so again server name and the mapped network drive name uh, with some backslashes in there. And that's all there is to that, it's pretty simple. Uh, we'll press apply and then we'll press okay. We'll just rinse and repeat for our other created users. So again, we're going to profile, connect to P and our network path, apply and okay. And then one more time for our top user there, Calvin. Uh, again, just repeating the same thing here. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video and that's also gonna put a wrap to the video series. If you guys enjoyed or if you found it helpful, we'd really appreciate some feedback in the comments section. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.